This is the world we live in. We live in a world where nobody wants to be fucking responsible. On both hands, the man or the woman. Abortion. That baby ain't do shit. Again, I don't agree with abortion. I mean, remember, I had, I got pregnant, right? I'm talking about looking at the window, like tapping outside of the window of freedom. Like, this is my time, you know, to start living as an adult. And my dad came to me, like really insinuating, like, he didn't say it, but it was a strong insinuation. You know, basically, like, you about to ruin your life, you know? And I but felt see, responsible. When, since when did having a child become a death sentence? That's what I don't understand. Well, because you, that child comes first. Every All your dreams yeah. come after. You selfish motherfucker. Why wouldn't you, why wouldn't you expect for somebody to, I mean, we're only here for a, a little bit of time. We only have a small amount of time to make a, a gigantic impact on the fucking world. And you mean to tell me that only thing you want, only thing, well, I ain't saying you, but people want to do is go around, fuck around, eat shit, take up space, cut people off in traffic, talk loud in the motherfucking movie theater. You don't want to do anything that, that's worthwhile, like uh, uh, furthering like our obligation to reproduce, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, I, I just don't understand it. I don't understand how people, you know what I'm saying, get this notion in their head, like they don't have to be responsible for somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Like, but these are the ones, I told you this a long time ago, I think women who really don't want to have kids should have their fucking uterus removed at age 18 or 16, 17, whatever. Well, at the age of consent, it should be an option. But you're not gonna know that. The, the, this is the thing. In my case, at that age, you don't even know who the hell you are, what you want. You need to be able to grow up and be mature enough to have a child. We are going, a lot of us are coming in the world ass backwards. We're digging ourselves in the grave and trying to dig ourselves out of it. Well, I, I, we'll definitely, get above water. I definitely do agree that motherfuckers ain't mature. They know we're close to being as mature as, let's say, for our parents was at that age. Nowhere close. But our parents didn't have the expectations we had. We got to stop putting it in the context of our parents. Our parents no, no, no. I'm just could saying, work at the factory and do all of that stuff. We got so much more burdens on us to achieve than they did. Yeah, yeah, which is some bullshit, as you can see. Yeah, I mean, Over it's a trillion dollars worth of student loan debt. And guess what? Majority of the people that got degrees don't even work in their field. It's crazy. I spent, well, I ain't spent, but I took what? $12,000 out in uh, uh, student loans to get a career and I make probably more than almost everybody I know that has a degree. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, so somebody was drinking the Kool-Aid. Yeah, you right about that. Motherfuckers be drinking the Kool-Aid, but that still don't, you know what I'm saying? That, that still don't take away a person's obligation when it comes to like, okay, reproduce, you gotta make this shit happen, dude. You know what I'm saying? And that baby ain't got shit to do with that. But I get tired of motherfuckers thinking that babies is is, is this gigantic bird. What the hell else would you be doing? You know what I'm saying? I love kids. I love kids. I don't look at them as birds. You know what I'm saying? And I don't look at, I don't look in my 20s as the age, old age to fuck up. You know, oh man, that's the age where you have so much fun. What fun? What, what fun? STDs? Going back and forth to the goddamn clinic? You know what I mean, I'm saying? Byron, every, Not taking care of business? Fun is relative to everybody. And we have to respect everybody's man. decisions in life fast, man. man like, we do need to be responsible. But I don't give a fuck. I will never agree with someone in their teens, 19, 20, 20. I think, you know, you want to start having kids maybe about 25. That makes sense. But that young, you don't need to have no kids, man. You can't even find your ass from your head. Do you man, come in no, with kids? It ain't. See, it's, it's because of these 
expectations that they put on put on us, women, men, and society to make us feel that, oh, well, we need to have all this and all that before we have children. Motherfuckers not having kids for a long goddamn time. They would have had to. That's why we're here. You know what I'm saying? And all these expectations wouldn't put put, uh, uh, put before our, our, our parents and them. You know what I'm saying? We yeah, is it, is it, times, so. now is it difficult? Is it more difficult now to have a child? Absolutely, absolutely it is. But I will tell you that you gotta find a way. I mean, I'm sure it was difficult to have a motherfucking child back when we were slaves, you know what I'm saying? But they still did it. And they were still taking care of them kids, doing what needed to be doing, uh, doing what needed to be done. But I don't know, man, I, I just, I just, I just hear these people talking about abortion, man, as though it's a fucking contraceptive. You know what I'm saying? No, I think that's crazy. I think it shouldn't be used as a contraceptive. It, yeah, a lot of people you know, do. That's crazy. I've never had an abortion, not a one. And I don't demonize anyone who has. You know what I'm saying? And I do believe that abortion has its, pr its place in um, very extenuating circumstances. Like if you get raped by somebody or For some sure. shit like that yeah. or incest. I think it has its place, but no, it shouldn't just be used that, you know what, I was on some bullshit, I fucked up, let me get rid of this kid. No. Right, right. That's I mean, BS. And that's that's the thing that gets on my on my damn nerves, you know what I'm saying? If we're if we're you know, we've been waiting on Jesus for so goddamn long. And what if every time that he tried to come back it was in the, it was in the female who had an abortion? <laughs> we should have been had our damn Messiah. But he keep getting sucked up out you. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm just, I'm joking. I, I guess that's insensitive. But I'm just saying, man. That, it, come on, man. Come on. And your body don't like, don't like that shit either. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I've no, seen studies I mean, that said yeah. that that uh, that not only mentally are females affected, but physically as well, because your body still go through those stages. Right. And it can turn to fucking, you know what I'm saying, like your like your breasts or whatever, you can get lumps. And then what's that shit called? Uh, thyroids or whatever? Fibroids? Fibroids, yeah, you know what I'm saying? You, I seen the female with some fibroids that looked like she was pregnant. Yeah, it's crazy. Them you know what I'm saying? Crazy. And what do, and what do you think that is? I don't know. You know, I ain't no doctor, but I'm just saying, you know. These motherfuckers are fucking up. For real. You know, I know I know everybody got to be responsible. But they part in the situation, man. But hey, human beings can only come through women. And if you treating that motherfucker like a goddamn, uh, like it's not a, an important place or important, you know, what I'm saying thing, and just keep hopping from nigga to nigga to nigga and thinking that you're you you're supposed to that you can treat your body the same way that we do as men do, you dead motherfucking wrong. You know, I have more of a problem with America always addressing every other issue outside of issue that needs to be addressed. All the shit that's going on in the world, though, real talk, ending abortion shouldn't be number one on the list, man. It's a lot more shit. It's like they don't want to fix the root. They want to always come and come with a fucking Tylenol or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Put a Band-Aid on it. Address the real issues. Well, I mean, the study, like I, like I told you before, the study came out that, you know, we're approaching a 32-year low in birth rates. Not just white people. All people in America. 32 years. So that's 86? Well, maybe the human race... You know race, what I'm saying? Look. 1986. So since 86, motherfuckers like, man, fuck that. You know what I'm saying? they like, ah, oh, fuck that. Yeah, that's it. You know what I'm saying? A 32 year low in births. You know what I'm saying? No, 87. 1987. So I mean, yeah, the environment is not conducive really nowadays to really have multiple kids. That's why everywhere you go, every shopping center, you know what I'm saying? You go, it's like a fucking desert. Motherfuckers ain't having kids. But maybe it's time for the reign of the human race to it. Maybe we become extinct like the dinosaurs and it's another nah, human race that'll take over. Western society. Western society. All European nations, including United States of America. 
yeah, they, now they need to go bye-bye. You know what I'm saying? But I said, that's a 32-year low in America. Now they banging over there in Africa. They doing their thing, you know what I'm saying? They ain't superficial, none of that shit. You know, right now they have kids. They ain't got no problems with it. You know what I'm saying? So, you know. I, you know, my only thing is I wouldn't be upset if all the bad people on the planet go. Now that wouldn't kill me, you know, everything else, whatever, uh, but just the bad, take the bad people out of you. Uh, okay, uh, Thanos. You know, fuck it, I'll be thankful. <laughs> you can't make it. I get where you come from. Get rid of well, all these sick, saying, twisted motherfuckers. Bye. I think the mindset needs, needs to change in America. We shouldn't be looking at kids as a bird. That's all I'm saying. We shouldn't be looking at kids as a fucking bird. That's me, in, in my opinion. Babe, you know what I'm saying? We was going to get a dustpan. Uh, oh, okay. That's a, that's some mischaracters of, of of priorities, in my my opinion. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got no more. Your priorities are fucked up if you, uh, if you look. Oh, goddamn. Shit. I was gonna go to the motherfucking. Go to the goddamn. Uh, st become a stripper. No, I can't do it. Because I got a child. I'm pregnant. Byron. Motherfucker. Tripper. Let me throw this one. Okay. Make sure you choose Rocky Road Productions LLC Porch Talk to feed your entertainment needs. And you can do that by following us on Facebook, Instagram. Make sure you like this video and share it with all your family and friends. Tag somebody in it, why don't you? And don't forget to comment down below and let us know how you feel. And before you leave, make sure you subscribe. That's right, you'll catch us every week. Looking forward to see you again next time. Bye.